hi guys welcome back to my chat welcome back guys so okay please please ignore the scattered room ignore my scattered room right now yeah so i've been working i've been working and for a while now i've not had time to really arrange things so anyways focus your eyes on this shirt yeah so i'll be transforming this shirt into a top and a skirt you already know so guys about now guys i'll go ahead and mark out the demarcation line between the top and the skirts where the top is going to end and then the rest fabric is just going to be for the skirts and i'll advise you guys to go see the video i did on how to take body measurements for easy diys this is going to really help you guys so since i already indicated the point where i want the top to stop i'll go ahead and place my ruler to get a straight line i want to be sure i'm getting a straight line so i don't make a mistake so after getting the straight line i'll go in with my scissors and cut this out so i'll be dropping the skirt part aside because i want to work on the top first working on the top part if you're doing this tutorial with me you're working on your shirt too right now don't be scared to use your scissors yeah so i'll be taking out the sleeve parts on this top because i want to resize this to my actual measurements so i'll go ahead and take out the sleeves and once i am done i'll fold this into two before i chalk out my measurements <music> you're wondering what i'm doing right now i just placed my tape on the shirt now to chalk out my actual measurements that's my round boss divided by four and then i'm chalking that there with um half inch added allowance to be lost on this diy or any other diy ever i recommend you go watch the previous video i did on how to take body measurements and also on how to know your body point because this is going to really help you on whenever you're working on any diy I'll place my tape on the shoulder of the shirt and I'll chalk out my boss point. That's where my boss will be sitting, my round boss will be sitting. And once I am done with that, I'll be chalking out my chest point. That's my upper boss point also because I want to create a new armhole. So this is how I'm going to create it. <music> was done creating my new armhole i'll go in with my scissors and cut out the unwanted parts before i take this to my machine and sew by half an inch on the sides of the shirt you guys this is the actual measurement now this is what fits me perfectly I go ahead and attach back the sleeves I'll go ahead and place my tape first and know what I have on the armhole the new armhole because that is what I'll be using to make my sleeves yeah so I got eight inches on the new armhole so I'll be making my sleeves eight and a half inches why I added half inches is because of the sewing allowance now i'll place my tape on the old sleeves because i'm about to adjust this to my new armhole so it can fit into my new armhole so yeah i'll place the tape and chalk out 8.5 inches and cut out the unwanted parts i'll take this to the machine and sew on the half
watch carefully so this is how i will attach the sleeve to the top so the last step um, for this top is just to hem the base of the top and then I am done and moving on to the skirt part Now working on the skirt part, this is going to be fast you guys. So I'll make sure I fold this from the middle I fold it into two and then I'll be chalking my waist measurements my round waist divided by four I'll chalk that down plus half inch sewing allowance to take my hip point, I'll place my tape like so and chalk out 9 inches. 9 inches is my hip point. I'll make sure I get a straight line before I go ahead and divide my round hip by 4 and then chalk that on my hip point. I was done I'll connect these points together and then I'll cut out the part that I don't need take this to my machine and sew half an inch on both sides All that was done the only thing left for me to do now is to hem the waist part where the waist is seated i'll hem that part by half an inch and you guys the whole outfit is ready for me to slay okay so this is me asking you from one to hundred how well will you rate me mm? i'm waiting okay so let me know in the comment section below and also while you're at that click on the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel if you're new here and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up you guys please go ahead and like this video and 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 thank you so much for watching this video from the beginning to the end if you're hearing this that means you are at the end of the video thank you can't wait to see you on my next video bye